My guest at this time was recently the victim of Wardlow's Power Bomb Symphony. He's extremely cute. It's Colin Delaney. Colin, welcome to the Wrestling Inc. Daily. Thanks. I thought that intro was going to go a lot nicer. You were like, he was recently, and I was like, ready for like featured on AEW Dynamite or like, I don't know, any number of things that wasn't got smashed. You you went right for the right for the kill. Yeah, well, I, I'm not going to beat around the bush here, Colin. I mean, <laughs> there's only a few people in this world that have ridden the bucking Bronco that is the Wardlow Powerbomb Symphony. You know, I was going to kind of maybe wait to get to it later, build up to it with some other questions. But, like, dude, what is that like to just get, you know, your shit tossed by Wardlow like that with all the power bombs? Well, uh, it definitely hurts more now than when I was, like, 21 and getting smashed on TV every week. It definitely hurts a bit more when I'm uh, 35. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cause like you were getting you when you were 21, you were getting hit beat up in ECW by some really big boys, right? That it really did not, if I recall, like do you many favors when it came to the way they were really kind of pummeling you out there. Right. Right. So uh, I guess it was a, a little bit of a throwback, but I am, I am, no longer a young man where that uh i i recoil as quickly i'm still i'm I'm not kidding i just, i still like i've been taping my shoulder for the last couple weeks and my my back is still sore from all that it could have been the chair shot though too i haven't been hit with a chair in a good minute okay well you know it is interesting as i was doing my research preparing for the the interview here yeah your aew journey actually started like you were friends with sean spears right you guys like you tagged together on AEW dark like over a year ago or something correct is that right yeah just pre-pandemic uh in cleveland ohio for aew dark me and sean spears took on the best friends and he left me high and dry and then fast forward to uh dynamite in jacksonville and as i'm leaving the ring he hits me with a chair i don't even know what his problem is with me seriously like uh, i've known that dude forever uh, he's an ontario guy i'm from rochester so we kind of came up in similar circles you know i've known him since i was like 18. really i don't know i didn't know you guys went went back that far yeah okay well i mean it seems like so like if you came back obviously you know another shot at wardlow would would maybe be in order but it sounds like your beef is more at this point with spears than wardlow if you were to you know get your next bat at AEW. yeah sure i mean <laughs> i don't think anyone wants a second go around with wardlow i, I think wardlow is is He's crazy talented, though. He's, I mean, it's uh, it's no no wonder why he is there and why they use him as such. You know, like he's he he looks great. He's super talented. He's super athletic. He's yeah. like for a guy his size, he can jump out of the gym. It's crazy. Uh, I, the the crazy part about Wardlow to me is that uh, there's still so much untapped potential which is insane to think about when you look at him and see all he's already done. Yeah. What do you think of the power bomb symphony? Are you a fan? Do you think that this is something that's going to work <laughs> and you can't, you can't wait to see other folks like yourself going through the, uh, you know, washing machine week after week. I don't think anybody is a fan of the power bomb symphony symphony. Well, I'm, I'm, I'll take that back. I don't think anybody uh, from a professional wrestling standpoint, any any professional wrestler is a fan of getting powerbombed over and over and over again. I don't think there's many people who really like getting powerbombed uh, as far as wrestlers go. Uh, so, yeah, taking more than one in a row, nah. What is, uh, what is the reaction backstage when you come back at? Because, you know, that is not something that is easy to do, and I'm sure that there are a lot of people that watch that, and you know, maybe, you know, felt like they felt like you had really done a great job or really put it all out there. Like, what was the reaction to that? So uh, I, there's a lot of WWE ECW alumni oh. <laughs> at AEW currently. So it's it's nice to get like, you know, sometimes just a little head nod, like. Recognize real, recognize real. <laughs> who are some of the head nods? What was who are some of your alumnus there? I, had, I didn't even Wait. think about that recently. Oh, there's so many of them. Yeah. Uh I mean, Punk, of course, is there now. Sure. Uh, Matt Hardy was a former champ. True. Mark Mark Henry was a former champ there. Uh, Lance Archer, former WWE ECW guy. Trent, former WWE ECW guy. Uh, referee Mike Posey, former WWE ECW guy. Uh, there's a lot. 